Hi everyone, I'm Chris Frame and welcome to my channel. Since March of 2020, the global fleet of around 300 cruise ships has been laid up awaiting the restoration of cruising services. This global layup is a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The suddenness of the global cruise shutdown, which commenced in mid-March, led to many cruise ships being far from home when the cruise pause commenced. I've made a few videos about this, including Princess Cruises' original announcement of the cruise pause, uh, the Queen Mary 2's World Cruise cancellation, and also videos about why the global fleet of cruise ships remain in warm layout. So you can check those out in the link in the description below. But as the cruise pause drags on, many cruise ships have ended up anchored or docked far from their usual home ports. So where are they, and what are those cruise ships doing? Keep watching to find out. My channel recently reached 10,000 subscribers, and so I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has already subscribed. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Starting in the UK, Disney Magic has been calling the port of Dover home for several months now. The ship first arrived in Dover on the 19th of May as part of Disney's crew repatriation efforts, with the ship having sailed from the Bahamas via Ponta Delgada in Portugal. Disney Magic has since undertaken several short cruises to nowhere, leaving from and returning to Dover. The cruise ships do this for a variety of reasons, and you'll notice that most of the ships in layup are currently doing these sorts of short cruises to nowhere. It is conducted in order to take on new seawater for desalination, discharge treated grey water, and allow the propellers and propulsion machinery time to operate. Disney Magic was scheduled to undertake cruises in the UK during 2020, and is still currently expected to cruise in the UK market in 2021. The UK shipping hub of Portsmouth is no stranger to large ships, and in fact it's been a major naval base for hundreds of years, and is currently home to the UK's fleet of supercarriers. In early July, the port welcomed its largest ever cruise ship when the Royal Caribbean vessel Majesty of the Seas arrived in the port. The 73,900 ton ship caused a stir as it passed by the HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales and spent over 10 hours in Portsmouth before relocating to Southampton. The 91,700 ton Norwegian Star is also currently based in the UK alongside in Southampton. Having been alongside since the 28th of June, the ship visited the Hampshire port after completing crew repatriation services to Rotterdam. A Dawn class cruise ship, Norwegian Star is expected to offer cruises from Southampton during 2021 and 2022. A rare visitor to the UK is the Empress of the Seas, which is currently at anchor off Bournemouth. The baby of the RCI fleet, this 1990s built 48,500 ton ship participated in Royal Caribbean's crew repatriation efforts and has been at anchor since 10 July, having also made calls in Dover and Southampton. Three Carnival Cruise Line ships have also been calling the UK home in recent months, a rare sight for UK ship spotters. The Carnival Breeze turned heads when the Dream Class cruise ship arrived in Southampton in May marking the first time that the 130,000 ton Carnival cruise ship had docked in Southampton. The ship has spent the last few weeks at anchor off Portland and off Torquay. Her sister ship, the equally sized Carnival Magic, has also been participating in repatriation voyages to Dubrovnik and has called at Southampton and Dover, while the slightly smaller Conquest class Carnival Valor is at anchor off Weymouth, having also called at Portland and Southampton. In Italy, the 110,000 ton Scarlet Lady returned to Genoa on the 6th of July after having completed a transatlantic crossing. Originally planned to enter service in the Caribbean market, the ship has yet to take on any fare paying passengers. After a period of warm layup in the Bahamas, Scarlet Lady recently sailed back to Italy, where she remains alongside at the Fincantieri yard, with her return to Europe allowing some of her crew to disembark the ship. In the UAE, several MSC cruise ships are at anchor off the coast of Dubai. These include the 65,500 gross ton MSC Lyrica, as well as the 171,500 ton MSC Bellissima, both of which have remained near Dubai for many weeks now. These ships are joined by Aida Vita, a 42,500 ton ship which redeployed there in early 2020. And on the topic of Dubai, a number of people have asked me what's happening to the QE2, which is moored there as a permanent hotel. The ship is currently closed, expected to reopen in September, and during that time works are continuing on the refurbishment of the interior of the ship. When QE2 does reopen, I'll be sure to post some information on my Facebook page or my website chriscunard.com. 
Cunard's Queen Elizabeth has been far from her home port of Southampton since December of 2019. Although the ship is now registered in Bermuda, the ship's home port is Southampton. I've made a video that explains the difference between the home port and the port of registry, which you can check out in the info card above. Cunard had planned to keep Queen Elizabeth away from her home port for all of 2020 and 2021, with cruises focusing on the Australian, Japanese and Alaskan market. But in March 2020, the ship's planned itineraries were cancelled, while the vessel was still in Australian waters, due to the global cruise pause. Following the unprecedented cruise ban implemented by the Australian government, Queen Elizabeth sailed north, where she was laid up in the Philippines. However, on the 26th of June, the ship set sail for Southampton, via Singapore and the Suez Canal. I'll be releasing a video when Queen Elizabeth returns to Southampton, so keep an eye out for that one in the weeks ahead. In the Philippines, Manila Bay has been home to one of the largest clusters of cruise ships in the world. However, in recent weeks, numerous ships have set sail for alternate destinations. This includes the three ships of the P&O Australia fleet. Unable to return to Australian waters until the cruise ban is lifted, Pacific Explorer has made her way as far north as Hong Kong, while Pacific Dawn and Pacific Aria are en route to Singapore. It should be noted that both Pacific Dawn and Pacific Aria are due to leave the P&O Australia fleet in early 2021. P&O Australia is expecting to take delivery of Golden Princess as a replacement, renaming her Pacific Adventure. That ship is currently at anchor off Port Klang in Malaysia, with a cluster of ships that includes Ruby Princess and Diamond Princess, as well as the Sapphire Princess, Island Princess and Holland America's Westerdam. With so many cruise ships caught up in the unprecedented cruise pause, it's impossible to mention them all, but I thought these were some of the more interesting ships that are far from their usual locations or redeployed in places that you wouldn't normally expect to find them. While many of the cruise ships are located far from their usual cruising locations, some are closer to home. Off the coast of Barbados, numerous Royal Caribbean ships can be found. I had previously missed Barbados off other videos, and so thank you to everybody who commented to point out that there are a number of cruise ships here, including the Enchantment of the Seas, Freedom of the Seas, and the huge Oasis-class vessel Harmony of the Seas, one of the largest cruise ships in the world. Further north, the Bahamas is home to a huge cluster of cruise ships, including many of the Carnival Cruise Lines fleet, numerous vessels from Royal Caribbean, several ships from MSC, and the Disney Dream, while Disney Wonder and Disney Fantasy are at anchor off Cape Canaveral. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. If you know of a ship that is currently in an unusual location that I should have mentioned, let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in maritime history, why not check out my maritime history playlist? It includes videos about the Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth, and the famous QE2. Alternatively, if you're interested in cruise news and what's going on throughout the COVID-19 crisis, check out my cruising and COVID-19 playlist. Thanks so much for watching, and when we are able to cruise again, I hope to see you on board.